see this one coming in? Ooh, pretty waves. I'm originally from Southern California. I grew up in Anaheim. I lived a block from Disneyland and we watched the fireworks go off every night at nine o'clock. Uh, I was 14 when I got my first job at the grocery store so I could buy a surfboard. I came up here and went to technical school when my parents moved up here and built a vacation home. Well, I was just shocking, you know? Amazing to find out that you can surf on the lake, that the lake is that big, that there's waves big enough and they last long enough. I was really intrigued by learning about a body of water in a community that I'm not familiar with at all. I think that a great deal of the success of this film is due to its specificity and the opportunity to see what activities people partake in in this place that may not be happening anywhere else in the world, as well as the unique environment that exists scientifically on this lake. I think that this film brings up several fantastic points about climate change, not the least of which is the idea that this lake is a model for how climate change may affect larger bodies of water. But I think the thing that stuck out to me the most, which was brought up towards the end of the film, is the idea that coastal communities and communities that have formed around large bodies of fresh water are uniquely positioned to transcend politics and other factors in order to defend and protect the natural resource that is vital to the survival of their cities. And I think that that's something that we all can take forward with us as we combat climate change, whether we are removed from places like Lake Superior or not. It is something that we're all going to have to come together and protect in order to ensure the survival of our society. I thought it was informative and fun and I definitely learned something. I had no idea people went surfing in Superior. Um, really, the whole thing is just pieced together really well. It's edited well. There's really strong cinematography for a documentary too. And it's not just simply videography. Uh, they just get some fantastic shots, even in the interview shots. Um, there's just a great attention to the framing, the light. Um, really, it, it's a quality piece with quality people, um, just really enjoyable. I thought this was a really interesting documentary. I've never um, really thought a lot about freshwater lakes and how they can act as oceans with, with different water types and have a, a really vast array of um, biodiversity within them. So it was really interesting to have a documentary exploring uh, so like the freshwater lake and its impact on the ecosystem and the environment and its scientific relevance and also just the important place it has in many people's hearts um, as like a, a great place to hang out. It was a, a really, really interesting documentary. You know, I always say the strength of a documentary rides and dies on the subject matter. And this is subject matter that I never even thought about before. I never even, I never even considered the concept of surfing in a lake. I couldn't even imagine how cold it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, and so, so it's like, and like, also we don't have, have very many lakes in Texas. So like surfing is already a foreign concept in the ocean. Then surfing in a lake is crazy. And then surfing in a lake in Lake Erie up North where it's cold. I never even, this is uh, a completely new concept to me. So it was, so I say all that to say, it was very fascinating to watch this documentary and like explore this world and like learn about all of this entire, like, uh, uh, Activity and, and all the people involved and all of that stuff and to tell this story and then to relate it back to the climate crisis and like all of that. Um, I think that was a, it was a great, it was a great, it was a great like interest grabbing, interest hook to tie it back to the climate crisis. So overall really well done and also great shots of the ocean and of the water and like the surfing shots. I don't know how y'all got them. I can't even, I don't even know where I would begin to start getting surfing shots. Um, but they looked great. Freshwater was very, very insightful. Um, I always love learning about new things, and learning about the Great Lakes was a joy to watch. Um, it was very interesting learning about not only the temperatures of the Great Lakes and how cold it is even in the summer, but also um, environmental risks that come with it, that even though it's so vast and so massive, it's also very fragile. Um, and just learning about how everyone has to 
do their best to try and take care of this giant ocean-like lake um, was very insightful. This one has lovely scenery and outstanding cinematography. I love the music and the close-ups, the slow motion effects, and the chapter partitions between the beautiful shots from the lake, especially this morning scene. Uh, it's so interesting to hear the stories of surfers uh, that are passionate about the lake and how they discovered that this can be done at this point, at this region and very far from a beach and a regular beach from the ocean. And it's also interesting to hear some some stories about Duluth and other activities uh, activities that surround this particular city and the dynamics of the population. We have photographers and brewers as well, uh, families, all sorts of visitors that make Lake Superior um, a destination. And then we have information from scientists about wave and wind dynamics and just scientific facts about this large body of water and how they collect samples to understand the ecosystems and the processes of pollution and climate change and specifically microplastics. It is just an overall very interesting, well-researched and very personal. I found it quite uh, endearing to hear from locals about this great element of nature. Mm -hmm.